What's good guys and welcome back to another episode of the Trading Journal here at Elementary FX. If you've seen our previous journal entry, you'll know that we didn't start the week off on the right foot. Uh, we lost about over 50 pips to the Canada Yen, but today I'm excited to share two decent trades we took on the Euro USD. One of them we took with uh, some of our members on the private trading group. If you're a member of Elementary FX and have yet to join our private trading group, I highly suggest you do so. The details of the group can be found in the membership confirmation page of our website. However, if you're not a member of uh, Elementary FX, you can sign up using the link below. Junior memberships are free with our discount code LAUNCH100. Alright, now that's out of the way. Let's have a look at the Euro USD. I think uh, the first trade we took was uh, previewed on the weekly market analysis, however for educational purposes, I'll go through the analysis again. If you are interested in the EPDSFR thought process we do here at in our elementary course, this would be a very good example of that kind of analysis. So this is the Euro USD on the 15 minute chart and like the EPD goes, the first step is E which stands for establish and the, the first thing we want to do is to establish the trend. As you can see from this chart, the Euro USD has been in a steady downtrend, creating lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and it continues. <clears throat> so naturally, the next step is to predict. And since the trend is your friend, we predicted that the pair was going to continue its bearish momentum. So now that we have predicted what uh, the pair is going to do, we want to decide and that's the last step. D stands for decide and we have to decide how we want to approach this trade. And that's where SFR comes in. S stands for structure and the closest notable point of structure we can see is this area right here. If I were to draw a line out so it's easier to see, this would be the first notable point of structure. Now that we've identified structure, we will look at F which stands for Fibonacci and we want to determine if there are any Fibonacci levels confluencing with our structure area. For this opportunity, we'll be looking at two different swings. Uh, this swing right here, swing high to swing low and this swing right here, swing high to swing low. So now that we've identified our swings, let's see what Fibonacci levels lines up with our uh, structure area. This we have a 618. As you can see the 618 level lines up very nicely on top of our structure area. The next swing, the next swing high to swing low which, which is this one will give us a 50% retracement and as you can see the 50% retracement, retracement lines up very nicely on top of the 618 and also in line with our structure area. This confluence of structure and Fibonacci suggests that if price were to reach that area, we would have a decent selling opportunity. Um, let me just show you the chart right here. And uh, if I were to go down in the lower time frame, this was confirmed because we have a divergence in RSI. You can see that price made higher highs. However, RSI made lower highs. All right. Uh, this is the Euro USD on the 5 minute chart. So this divergence in RSI suggests that there is weakness in this uptrend right here. Let me just delete that off for you. <clears throat> Alright, so and as you can see price came up into our, our zone right, we identified right there. Uh, price came up into our zone before reversing very nicely and making its way downwards. Stops were here and targets were here. Unfortunately, price could not manage to push its way down, um, could not push its way down to our target and I was trailed out at 6 2015. Let me just write, write it out for you. 6 2015. I was trailed out at 6 2015 for about 8 pips right here. Uh, and that's where the next opportunity presented itself to us. Let me just erase this now that this uh, trade is out of the way. We made 8 pips in this trade. Now we look at the next opportunity. So when I got stopped out, when I got trailed out for about 8 pips, that's where the next opportunity presented itself to us in the form of a cipher pattern. Alright, in this pattern, we have our X to A leg right here. Alright, X to A leg, also known as the impulse leg. Then we have our A to B leg right here, which is a 382 to 50% retracement. If I were to just draw it out for you, 
it reaches the 50% retracement before reversing. So that is a valid leg. Uh, the next leg we want to look at will be this leg right here, X to A, A to B, and then we have our B to C leg right here. Typically, a B to C leg is um, a B to C leg is an extension of the X to A leg, this leg right here, X to A, and typically. A conventional a conventional range would be the 1313 to the 1618 and if I were to draw it out for you X to A A to B B to C we, you can see that it slightly passes the 1313 let me just zoom it in so it's easier to see all right let me just do that again for you we have our we have our X to A a to B, B to C, and as you can see, price is past the 1313 level, it's at a 118 level, so that gives us a valid B to C leg. And uh, the next leg we want to look for is the CD completion, which comes up at the 786 level. Let me just uh, switch off my magnet so I can do it manually. 786, as you can see, price came up to that 786 level before reversing very nicely towards the downside. Stops were above the X leg and our targets were back at structure all the way down here. Uh, we didn't hit we didn't hit targets, however, I was stopped out at around 60, 40. Let me just uh, draw a line for you. 60, 40. I was stopped out at 60, 40 for about 18 pips. So as you can see, uh, when one opportunity has ended, we another presented itself to us in the form of a cipher pattern. So this has been the full analysis on EURUSD. I just want to remind members that there will not be a daily market analysis today considering that tomorrow is a holiday and markets will be thin and highly illiquid. Alright, I want to thank you guys for joining me and I will see you on Sunday for our market, uh, weekly market preview. Thanks guys.